We're back. We're watching America Trends together where we cover all the hot topics of the day. I'm Barry Nussbaum filling in for Dr. Gina, who's in the pool, as you just noticed. Our poll question today, will the Democrats leave their convention unified behind Hillary? I'm voting no. Remember to vote in that poll. We want to hear what you have to say. So live from the DNC convention in Philadelphia, political reporter Mona Salama. Mona, how are you, girl? Going good. You're undercover with those glasses. You're looking good. No, I'm just having slap and like... I like to change up my style, ask Gina. Got it. I wanted to fit in with the protester, even though I'm actually dressed up. So I was nerdy chic today. Got it, nerdy chic. Okay, nerdy chic. You're <laughs> gonna have to give us some big opinions. Let's start with the poll. Is the party unifying after Bernie surrendered? No. The protesters are growing bigger and bigger by the day. Wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. There's more protests? Yeah, this Do you realize is not this is this is not on the big networks at all, Mona. Of course not. Well, Fox actually covered it yesterday. CNN is not even touching it. Um, but there was protests behind where I'm at right now. If you actually look to my my right, your left, there's the exit. There's a parking lot, and then behind that, there was like a huge like Black Lives Matter, uh, Bernie, uh, or bus protesters. Um, they've been, they gathered today in, um, what you call it, the Philadelphia City Hall. I actually saw a llama outside. I really thought I was in a zoo. <laughs> I kid you not. So um, was, but no, the protests are growing bigger and bigger by the day. And, and was this a, um, was this a Bernie llama? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, what do they, what do they want at this point? Their, their guy lost. He surrendered. He endorsed Hillary. Pretty strong speech. I mean, way stronger than Ted Cruz's non-endorsement of uh, Donald Trump. Mona, what do they want at this point? Uh, to keep the political revolution alive. Uh, Bernie's biggest thing, even though he, I say he lightly endorsed her. He, the only reason why he's endorsed her because he doesn't want Donald Trump. But every time he'll talk about it, he'll talk about it for two minutes. But then hit the rest of his speech will be all about, you know, electing from the ballot down, local level to Senate level um, from each state. So like um, Senate and each uh, the United States Senate to uh, elect progressive leaders. And that's just his plan. So do, do the protesters, Mona, out in the street believe they're going to influence uh, Hillary's direction of the party and her platform at this point? No, they already know that she's full of crap um what you call it they're not holding her accountable a lot of them are trying to get bernie to uh denounce his um endorsement that's not gonna happen but a lot of them are now supporting uh what you call what's her name jill uh what's her name jill stein okay and you know that that could be that could backfire on the democrats uh that becomes like uh a Ross Perot moment where certain Democrats are bolting and it, if it pulls 5%, Trump wins, yeah? Well, if she can get into, right now they're trying to get her, um, they're actually behind her and they're like in love with her. She's been joining the protest and uh, their biggest goal right now from now until after Labor Day is to make sure she reaches the 15% threshold so her face can be on the debate. And it could either be a three-way debate or a four-way debate come November, um, I mean, end of September. And they want to make sure that she gets her voice out there because they think she's like the replica of Bernie. So, in other words, Green Party, Libertarian Party, Republican Party, Democratic Party? Mm -hmm. I wonder what the major networks are going to say about that. I bet you it doesn't happen just because they don't want to see the left-wing fracture. That and like I bet you they're gonna if I, there's only gonna be three debates they're gonna find a way to change the debate rules and they're gonna say yeah we thought about that and and we decided that like it has to be a two party system they're gonna find a way to make it Trump versus Hillary because that's gonna be the show to watch and then now with King going after Trump just moments ago uh, he's such a like the like high school boy that uh, nobody wanted to be friends with. And then Pence <laughs> is actually the guy you actually want to approach. So we'll see how Pence, if he's gonna, if Trump is rubbing off on him the next three months, I mean the next two months. Got it. So is there still fallout coming 
in Philadelphia from the leaks that came out of the demise of uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz in regards to the way the Democratic Party fixed it for Hillary to push Bernie out? Well, as you see, the mainstream net, um, media is covering it, how like Trump thinks that like it was Russia's fault, and now they're like um, twisting his words around for this morning. But most of the Bernie supporters are really pissed off that like um, they got rid of her as a BSE chair, and then moments later, Hillary goes, you're hired. So they're really pissed off about that. That's another thing. Yeah, she was unemployed for about 15 seconds, Mona, and then she got kicked upstairs to co-chairman of the entire national campaign, which is a promotion. Yeah, it's a promotion. And plus, she also has a uh, Congress race. And that her opponent is one of big uh, Bernie's guys. What do you, what, Bernie, by the way, what do you hear on that race in South, in South Florida? How's she doing in that race for re-election? I, I don't know about the polling number. I haven't really paid attention now. But I heard a lot of money is flocking towards him right now. Really? Well, that'd be interesting if she goes from the head of the DNC and congresswoman to not and out of congress at least she's got a job running hillary's campaign till november so let's switch horses mona what do you think of bill's weird dating history of hillary speech last night i got bored um i actually now know more about how bill met his um his wife and the timeline that i know about my father met my mother and what happened and how i was conceived into this world and how my brother and sisters were I got bored halfway, and he missed one chapter. Donald Trump said it right. He missed one chapter, the chapter I grew up with, 1998, and he never mentioned that. Um, he threw away that speech because we all know that Bill is a very passionate speaker. He can rile up the crowd. He's he's the total opposite of his wife. So you know, she just you know made history yesterday, being the first woman nominee in major party to you know lock up a presidential uh, nominee. If he would have gave an outstanding speech, the whole headlines would have been Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton, and she so doesn't want that. Because we all know during the primary, he's been taking her race. Yeah, I, I got news for you. It was almost like I was watching a professional recap of The Bachelor with too much information. Mona, thanks so much for being with us. We'll talk again soon. Uh, Mona Salama from the DNC in Philadelphia. There's going to be more America Trends coming up in just a minute. Remember, find all the links to all these videos at America Trends Twitter page at America Trends. And you can follow me at Barry Newsbaum on Twitter and findbarry.com on the web.